okay let us discuss this problem so this is again solubility in the presence of complex ion formation so this question says determine the number of mole of agi which may be dissolved so we have to find number of mole of agi that will be dissolved in 1 liter so i have a solution and this solution basically so i have to find number of mole of agi so this solution volume is 1 liter and this contains cn minus concentration of cn minus in this solution is given to you that is 1 m so basically agi is solid now question says if i put agi solid in this solution what is the number of mole that will dissolve so let us say i have a solid of agi that is basically put into this solution and you have to tell me what is the number of mole of agi that will be basically dissolved in 1 liter solution and two thing is given to you ksp for agi is given and this value comes out to be 1.2 to 10 to the power minus 70 so one value this is given to you 10 to the power minus 17 you're getting so 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 70 is the ksp and the kf formation constant for ag c and hold twice generally ammonia uh, ag plus forms complex with coordination number two so this complex has a equilibrium constant 7.1 into 10 to the power 19 so you have to calculate the solubility of AGI and then you can calculate number of mole of AGI that will dissolve. This is a fairly easy problem, just repetition of the last problem. So you see what will happen as soon as AGI, so if you put AGI into the solution, this AGI will dissolve and it will form AG plus plus I minus and the reaction is basically characterized by the KSP. KSP is given to you and as soon as ag plus comes into the solution now in solution you also have cn minus so this solution contains cn minus so what will happen so some of the agi will dissolve and this will give you ag plus and i minus but ag plus can further react with cn minus and it will form so if ag plus reacts with cn minus let us say 2 cn minus it will form a complex ag cn hole twice minus an equilibrium constant for this reaction is Kf. Now the Ksp value is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 17 and Kf value is 7.1 into 10 to the power minus 9 uh, plus 19. Now you tell me what are the assumptions you are going to take. Uh, let us take 30 seconds and tell me what is the plan for solving this problem. How will you solve this problem? So just make your mind how you are going to solve this question to find out the number of AGI, number of mole of AGI that is dissolved. This means solubility. You first find out the solubility and then you can multiply by the volume. So let me give the plan. Now you see the question is very easy. This gives you Ag plus and this Ag plus can further react in the second equation. Now the k, k value for this second equation is very high, 10 to the power 19. So what are the assumptions I am going to make? The assumption I am going to make is the Ag plus that is coming from the first step is going to react with the second step almost completely. This is the assumption. So whatever the Ag plus that is coming is going to react in the second step. So now I can add these two equations. I can add these two equations only if that is the intermediate produced in the first step is same as intermediate used in the next step. So if I add these two equations, Ag plus Ag plus goes out. So I will have Ag i plus 2 Cn minus and this will give you Ag Cn whole twice with a minus plus i minus and the equilibrium constant will be basically ksp into kf so let me write 1.2 into 7.1 and this is 10 to the power 19 and 10 to the power minus 70 so this will be 10 to the power 2 
So this is the equilibrium constant for the given reaction. This is basically solid. AGI is solid. An initial concentration of Cn minus is given to you 1m. This is 0 initially. This is 0 initially. So we will have 1 minus 2x here. If I set the table, reaction table x, x. So you will have x square divided by 1 minus 2x raised to the power 2. This is equal to k spin to k, so 1.2 into 7.1 into 10 to the power 2. Are you getting or not? Now, so I can solve this equation basically. So I can take x by 1 minus 2x is equal to root of this 1.2 into 7.1 into 10 to the power 2. So what this value comes out to be? So let me check this value. I think you are able to see. So this is 1.2 into 7.1 into 10 to the power 2 that is 100 and I have to take the root of the answer. This is 29.18. So this is 29.18. Now this will be x is equals to 29.18 minus 2 into 29.18 this multiplied by 2 so this comes out to 58.37 so 58.37 x now this goes this side so we will have 59.37 x this is equals to 29.18 so x is basically 29.18 so let me use my calculator 29.18 and divided by 59.37 59.37 this comes out to be 0.491 so x is 0.491 so this is the molarity so this is the number of mole of AZI dissolved per liter so what is AZI that is the x is the concentration of I minus and x is same concentration of AG plus so this is the solubility so solubility is 0.491 and our question says volume is 1 liter. So number of mole of AZI dissolved this into 1. So see, remains 0.4. So number of mole of AZI dissolved. So number of mole of AZI dissolved. This is equals to 0.491 mole. Are you getting? So this is a fairly easy problem. You see in this question what we have done is we have basically added two equations. Sometime you can if one you can solve this equation without adding even. You can take x and x minus y. But this is always good way to add the two equations. So if you add the two equations, you get the overall equation and set the overall equation reaction table. And once you have set the reaction table, write down the equation. And then whatever assumption you can make, let us uh, make that assumption, you will get the answer. So this is a fairly easy problem. Okay, let us go for the next problem. I think all of you have copied this one. 